They beat Castile 38-17. All right, time for our West Side Roundup. Some with playoff implications for that. We bring in the newest member of our 12 sports team, Luke Lidden. Luke, what's up, man? Welcome to the Fever and the team. Hey, Cam. Happy to be a part of the team officially. And what a perfect time to join the Fever, right? Yeah. Highlight after highlight. And none of them disappointed, especially as we near those playoffs. First up, Agua Fria at Canyon View. And it was pretty simple for the Jags. A win locks them into the playoffs, although not a great start on their first drive. A mishandled exchange. And the ball's out. That's a fumble. And the Owls recover, so a few plays later they capitalize. Angel Soto off the play fake here. It works because he's going for it all downfield. Vernon Heller reels it in for the 30-yard touchdown and the lead. So after a Canyon View interception, Soto making him pay again. Looking to pass, finds nothing, so he channels his inner Kyler Murray. Scampers his way in for six, but somehow Canyon View would pull off the comeback, winning by a single one to 30. Out to Buckeye now as Verado was fighting for the region title against Desert Edge in the second half is where we found most of the action. Adrian Lara with a quick strike to Gavin Parks who hauls it in for the touchdown in the 14 zip lead. So we jump ahead late third. Vipers trying to get something going but Maxwell Sawyer laying down the hammer there with the big tackle for loss and that visitor student section there absolutely loving it. Fourth quarter now. Bring him home. Chris Cadero breaks free. Uh, Cam, I don't think anyone's catching that man. Uh-uh. He's going 50-plus yards for the touchdown, the big time, 28-6 victory. On to Copper Canyon now with a tough task against Tolleson on the road. Early on, Wolverines' Isaac Madreal threading the needle over the top to Michael Johannes for the score in the 6-0 lead. But I think we found a hot shot candidate, Cam. Watch closely. Xavier Marshall going to get the handoff here. And you think he'll be run out of bounds in just a moment, right about here. Whoa. But he tiptoes along the sidelines, maintains his balance, cuts back inside all the way for the 60-yard touchdown. How about that? Wolverines remain undefeated in region play, winning a whole lot to a little. 53-6, your final score. So uh, let's hear from the players now. Coach. We're just excited. These kids have uh, worked their tails off the entire year. And uh, really proud of them after, after, after having a year off of football that we were able to put seven in a row together, win a region championship, and, you know, win for sure our last home game here for these seniors. This is just different from coming from the bottom and going straight to the top. It's just amazing. It's an electrifying feeling, and I love it. Awesome. Ooh, me too. I love it. No better way to end the season than that right there. And the best part of all, Cam, we're just getting started here for uh, week 11. We're just getting started, Luke. But I want to say this. Tolleson, they deserve to be in the playoffs. Coach Welbrock has done a fantastic job coming back to that program. Put them in the playoffs. Do the right thing, AIA. Luke, uh, fantastic debut. Appreciate Welcome to the team, my friend. Appreciate it. Let's keep it rolling on the fever. Camelback at a...